The seeds for the evolution of conscious awareness for humanity have been planted long ago and continue to be planted. The basic seeds for this evolution have been planted and are present within our awareness. They are not a sophisticated philosophy, but still an enlightened one. An enlightened one that has at its core very simple ideas, which when replicated throughout humanity become complex and beautiful and gorgeous. The very simple idea of being in loving, respectful relationship with another human self, honoring their creatorship, honoring the unique and wonderful qualities of selfhood that they embody. And yes, there can be brilliance that emerges. Great intelligence, great manifestation of all kinds of wonderful things. A whole new world can be created. And yet, where is it all born from? Where does it all begin? Where does all wisdom begin from? I am suspicious of philosophy and supposed intelligence that doesn't come from a tender heart. Yes, very smart, very elaborate, but it never comes together if what is moving in the heart isn't brought online in a tender way and exposed. And this is the crucial factor. Ex exposed to that great power of love, which is the power of creation within us. But of course, there are all kinds of other things on this wild ride. There is certainly an evolution in humanity, an evolution of thought and ability, an evolution of technology and science. In 1954, Lloyd Arthur Meeker, who founded Sunrise Ranch with a small band of people, gave a talk on his great concern of the possibility that the evolution of human thought in science and technology would outpace the evolution of consciousness in, in other areas of human experience. He was concerned about the atomic bomb. And he was urging people who lived right here at Sunrise Ranch to allow their own conscious, conscious, consciousness to evolve, their own function spiritually to evolve, so that the power of the love that was being known and shared, so that the enlightened thought and enlightened way of being could keep pace with technology and therefore allow the technology that's being developed in the world to be used for good. Blessing itself is our way of naming the dynamic by which a person comes to tenderness, where a person comes to what's in their heart and lets it be exposed to the power of the universe, evolutionary love the power of love, the power of the universe moving through a human being and then moving through humanity. Who knows what it would do with this basic building block, this fundamental human experience of blessing and understanding between us. We could create a world and a world that could blossom in its understanding, blossom in its knowledge and then gain the capacity to use its technology for creative purposes, to evolve who we are as a species, to evolve what's happening on the planet, and take it to a wonderful place.